It's coffee time. Let's talk about this mug for a second. One of you sent me two of these and they're awesome. They retain heat very well, which I learned the hard way because I poured a bunch of hot coffee into it one time and then immediately went to grab it. But it's all metal, so this was extremely hot. And I was like, oh, I can see why enamelware, like back in the day, would have been really important, you know? Because it would stay warm for a really long time. But it's been cracking me up because every time somebody comes over and sees these, the immediate response is, whoa, you have enamelware. That's awesome. And so I decided to go onto Google and search why does everybody care so much about enamelware because i don't know i don't know anybody else who has enamelware i don't know anybody who's bragged about their enamelware but i was like i wonder what it is that people like in my generation see in enamelware it's i love the aesthetic of it but like i've never thought to myself man i would love to have an entire enamelware set right so i google search this and the first thing that comes up for me is how many syllables are in enamelware? Why? <laughs> like, beyond, beyond the purpose and love of enamelware, why did somebody Yahoo answers that question? How many so Guys, I am in a big ol' pickle. Yahoo, maybe you can answer my question. How many syllables are in enamelware? Four. There's four. Enamelware. There's four. Why did you need to know that? I... What? It baffles me. It really baffles me. I went into a rabbit hole right before I started this video. So now I've caught you all up. And we can talk about the podcasts. Um, today, we had co-opcast and Mangapod, same as usual. And for Mangapod, we read Bakuman, which I was telling you guys about last night. And man, that one was real good. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to read more of it. And apparently they have an anime. What? So now I want to watch the anime. It's great. And so many of you were tweeting me being like, Pokemon is my favorite manga ever. So it didn't disappoint, guys. It didn't disappoint. It wasn't like when we read uh, Gantz and everybody was like, Gantz is so good. And I read it and I was like, what is this? This drivel. What is, what is this? Like... That was my feeling when reading Gantz, by the way. But Bakuman, dope. Super sick. Especially since I found out that, like, all of the major editors in that manga are based off of actual editors. Like, those people exist. I think that's super sick. I was very much enjoying myself finding that out. And just finding out that it's an accurate depiction of what the manga industry is like. I don't know. It just made it really cool. It just made it really interesting and cool to read and all that. I am making a bad habit of eating dinner really late. Part of part of this whole let's take a two week break, even though it's not it's not really a two week break. It's a two week break of of putting videos up, but I'm I'm like working harder than I have in a long time, just like beast moding it right. But another another part of this two week break thing was to try and get myself on the correct schedule in terms of when I'm working, when I eat, and when I rest, right? Because typically I'm just leisurely working until like midnight and that's that's my normal life. So many, many times I've had a conversation where people have said you need to come up with a schedule for yourself. Like these are your work hours, this is your work day, and then you have dinner and then you have your evening. Like, that's that's a healthy life, right? Man, so far this week, there's only been two days, I know. But so far this week, that has not been successful at all. I've been like, oh, it's 10.30, I should eat dinner. And then I eat dinner, and, and then it's even later than 10.30, and it's so silly. I need to be eating a lot earlier than that. I'm just not, just not doing it. And tomorrow I have a really late shoot um 8 p.m to 10 p.m so i'm like well that's not gonna happen that's not i mean right 
I can eat before that, I guess. But I'm definitely not going to have my evening. Is more the point. In fact, I'm going to be doing stuff like all day, I think. I can look at that later. <laughs> I have a big list of I trieds that you guys gave me. I'm so excited. I used to have a list, like a, a huge list on my fridge. And I went to my fridge to look at it. I was like, oh, let's look at those I trieds that I had written down. And it's not there anymore. And I don't know if I threw it away or if one of the cats grabbed it off the fridge because it was kind of lower on the fridge. I don't know. I don't know where it went, but I, I wrote down all of the ones I remembered and then I took to Twitter and asked for ideas for I tried, and you guys had some great ideas, so I wrote them all down. I'm uh, really excited to do those, but I'm going to be buying stuff for that tomorrow. And going to the gym again. Oh my god. Walking up and down stairs has been a nightmare. I, <laughs> my goodness, it's not as bad as when I really messed up my legs a while ago, but being sore does not make walking easy or walking on stairs easy i made sure today even though i had the long podcasts i tried to make sure that whenever i started to feel stiff i got up and walked around and did something um because the longer you just like sit in the same position when you're really sore the longer you sit in the same position the worse it feels when you get up which is why when i feel sore i typically try to be on the computer less than normal because if I'm just sitting in the same position which I typically do for like hours at a time and then I try to get up it is excruciating so today I was like I'm gonna get up and clean my kitchen and then sit back down and do stuff and then get up and cook and then sit back down and do stuff and and do the podcasts etc yep 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 We had a really early Daily Bites today. We've been doing that a lot, actually. I feel like three times a week or so, we've been doing a really early Daily Bite, and I'm not sure why. I don't know why that happens. I'm also not sure why I'm telling you this. Every now and then, I have this weird, this moment where it's like, I'm actually sitting here watching myself, <laughs> and the outside me is going, why are you talking about this? why does this matter to anyone but you? And I'm like, it doesn't. I'm just saying it. And then the me on the outside is like, all right, I guess do whatever feels right, man. It's it's a strange feeling. It's the same sort of feeling I think that most people have when they first start doing vlogs and they're like, I don't know, it feels like the camera's staring at me. You know, there's there's that, that weird feeling of like, you, you, you feel you feel almost more alone than normal. And then the longer that you do it, the more you feel like there are people there, right? Like, I know you guys are there. I know that you guys are going to listen to this. So it doesn't feel like I'm talking to a camera or like I'm by myself. It feels like there are people there. But but it's the, it's the same sort of feeling where like sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm here instead and I suddenly feel very aware of how alone I am. <laughs> like just the fact that I'm by myself in my apartment and the other me is sitting there going, hey, you're talking to yourself. And I'm like, shh, what? Are, what? No, that's not true. <laughs> Here, jump into my mind for a second. Let me, let me tell you what goes on up there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Do you have chipped enamelware? No. How many syllables are in enamelware? That is just the weirdest thing. I'm closing that. It's dumb. It's real dumb, guys. Uh, so tomorrow is going to be a big day. Tomorrow is Daily Bite. And then... Actually, you know what? I am going to look at this. Whatever. Yellow. Oh. <laughs> There's a page in here where I just wrote SPOOKY in giant letters, and I realized it's Friday the 13th. I was like, why did I write that? Tomorrow is Daily Bite, and then we're doing our um, Operation Supply Drop thank you video, where we're getting pelted with 
uh, with rubber balls. So that'll be fun filming that. Then I'm shopping for I Tried. And then I'm going to the gym. And then I have my shoot at night. So I'll have a little bit of time in between the gym and uh, the gym and the shoot to to do whatever else I need to do. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny because on Monday, I was filled with this feeling of like, two weeks. I have two weeks to do so many awesome things. Like, I'm so excited. And now I'm trying not to think about days slipping away from me. I'm. This is my second day into the two weeks, and I'm already like... you know and every time I write something in my planner I like stress a little bit and I'm like oh no this is taking up valuable time that I need to be doing other things but like I mean it's all work right it's it's all work I'm telling you this and I'm also like convincing myself of this it's all work it's all important stuff to be doing I just need to make sure that I'm I'm making good use of the time when I'm when I'm not doing that stuff but also not taking it to an extreme and and like not resting you know because that has also been an issue for me so yeah i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to stay organized and also not freak out so <laughs> it's fine it's fine i still feel good i still feel like i had a good day and i feel like tomorrow will feel like a good day too just because I'll be doing lots of things. It won't be one static thing all day. It'll be like lots of little fun things. So that'll be good. But Thursday, Thursday is going to be a big day. Thursday's a shoot day. Oh my gosh. Like a shoot day for me. I'm really excited. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to go, but I hope you guys had an amazing day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Mwah!